Friday night kicked off the Region 15 Division 4 playoffs, with Waverly seeded 10 and Fairfield Union seeded 7 in the first round. The Tigers started off the game with the ball and came out with their claws, ready to fight. Starting off strong with a 37-yard run from running back Sebastian Bilisano getting the first touchdown of the night, and with the kick, the Tigers took the lead 7-0. After another failed drive for the Falcons' offense, defensive back Isaiah Saley got his first interception of the night at the 14-yard line. But the first quarter ultimately ended with the Tigers up 7-0. In the second quarter, the Falcons struggled with continuous penalties on the field, making it challenging to get on the scoreboard. But the Falcons came back determined to make a move. With an explosive run from quarterback Hunter Clark, followed by a 34-yard run by running back Owen Ruff, who would make it into the end zone, finally putting the Falcons on the board with a score of 7-14. Then, three minutes left in the first half, the Tigers got another touchdown when receiver Mason Pollard made two back-to-back -back catches, setting Bilisano up to score, putting Waverly up 21-7, ending the first half. Both teams struggled to get the ball rolling again in the third, but the Falcons swooped in with just under five minutes left when Ruff received the pass, scoring a touchdown. The Falcons were back in the game with the score now 21-14. Just one minute into the fourth quarter, defensive back Hunter Clark got the interception for the Falcons, but they were unable to gain yardage. Now with six minutes left, wide receiver Mason Sparks quickly went on to get the 14-yard touchdown, putting the Tigers up 28-14. But Fairfield Union's Hayden Ranger quickly received a beautiful pass, setting Chase Harmon up for the Falcon touchdown, with the score now 28-21. The Falcons found themselves on a fourth down with 45 seconds left in the game. But Hez Nelson intercepted the pass for Waverly, ending the game 28-21. Waverly's head coach, Chris Crabtree, shares his thoughts as they move forward in the playoffs. To be able to get in the playoffs, you know, that's always a great thing, uh, especially for the senior group to be able to go out and then ultimately to get a playoff win, you know, that's pretty exciting for our guys. Reporting for Gridiron Glory, I'm Carly Trout.